If I were to meet Jennifer Lawrence, the star of The Hunger Games, the Oscar winner, the insanely talented actress who can do both comedy and drama extremely well, I would say to her, have you met my girlfriend? She's awesome. Do you want to hear the story about how we met? It's really sweet. If you are in a relationship, don't ever imagine yourself with anybody else. And your partner better do the same goddamn thing. From the old Tucson studios in Arizona, this is the One Minute History Podcast. Here's your host, the hardest working man on the internet, Casanaya. If you are in a relationship, don't ever imagine yourself with anybody else, and your partner better do the same. If you don't do that, your relationship will not last and you will not have the benefit of living your short life as one half of a real couple. It's one of the best things a human being can do, is to eliminate the possibility of sex with any other person. To put it simply, in one of the best quotes in human history, no bomb-ass pussy will ever be better than the love of of the woman that you love. The end of a relationship might come out of a cheating spouse. The end of the relationship is signaled by the fact that you are thinking of having a sexual relationship with another person, another person beyond that person that you're in a long-term relationship with. So taking sex off the table becomes a very powerful tool to have real friendships, real relationships with people of the opposite sex or the sex that you're attracted to. I sat down with my girlfriend of more than three years, the woman who we haven't officially gotten engaged yet, but we will. The two of us had a conversation about long-term relationships. All right. All right, I am back from pooping. Uh, do you want to put down your, your cell phone? She's Sigh. on Instagram right now. Every single moment we have not been talking on the microphone, you've been on Instagram. Instagram is always there for me in times of need. <laughs> Usually those needs are out of boredom, Mm. but other than that. Uh, So welcome to long-term relationships. Yes. Uh, I would, if I were dating a person, even as long as a year, never stop an interview just to poop. (laughs) But with us, uh, I don't care. It was obviously needed. When did we start pooping and peeing around each other, too? Um, you know, I don't really know, because when we first started going out, um, obviously all the niceties were observed. Mm-hmm. You know, we, we tried not to f- fart around each other or <laughs> burp around each other. Or, like, yeah. cl- like, in any way, shape, or form, we were trying to hide all bodily functions. Yeah, yeah. And I, I never understood why people do that because well it's it's a courteous thing not to belch in public yeah but usually, and so you carry that into your personal relationships well, yeah but like our first date wasn't in public it was at your house so it's not like you know well it's still it's a nicety between people that you don't fart around even a really good friend and it's only recently that we started being fine with pooping around each other yeah because before Not then caring. well i was fine with it but you before then you still had to close the door and like turn the fan on and things like that and like i i don't give a shit and, and it's only recently that you stopped closing the door to pee if i'm in the room so this is all recently for you i couldn't care less i'm not a shy I, peer or pooper so 
it's not a question of me being shy, peeing or pooping. Mm -hmm. It's a question of me just not liking the fact that a human has to do that. I, as a human, do that. I, I, and, and I just, I know, I know, but like, I, I, I still feel like you don't have to hear it. I can either shut that door or keep that door open. I can still hear you through the door. Yeah, but I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's a, it's a type of decorum that I'm, I'm just still. Anyway. Anyway, this yes, let's get back podcast. to relationships. This is not what this episode is about. Wouldn't this be hilarious if this is all we talked about? <laughs> in like <laughs> Jennifer Lawrence being the topic, and we just talk about <laughs> us pooping around each other. <laughs> Jennifer Lawrence, if you're listening, she's not listening. If you are listening, though, she's not listening. We, when we, whenever we think about you, we certainly talk about <laughs> peeing and pooping. Like that's exactly <laughs> what we do. <laughs> Well, um, when, when I was thinking about the topic of Jennifer Lawrence, it got me into the subject of um, when I was a younger lad, uh, especially as a teenager, how I inaccurately looked at the relationships between men and women who are friends. So there is an age difference between us, mm-hmm. and I, I certainly feel that... Um, the maturity level of a, of a relationship, knowing certain things, didn't come to way later for me, which is so stupid. So I hope if you're a guy who's listening to this is under the age of 30, under the age of 25, under the age of 20 especially, that you get something out of this that I wasn't expressly made aware of, which I I wish I would have been made aware of from... The very beginning. Sorry, I just realized that there's chocolate ice cream on my shirt. Oh, well, it matches your little, it matches the dog. It's okay, I'll, I'll wash the shirt, it'll, it'll be fine. I mentioned in the One Minute History that the concept of taking sex off of the table and taking a, a relationship, a, a possibility of having a relationship off the table is a very powerful thing. And a necessary thing that you should do in order to have real relationships with people. Not only the person who, who you want to spend the rest of your life with, who you were married with, but also but the people outside of that. Having taken sex and the idea of having a relationship with any other person off of the table has completely freed me to have real relationships with any person, be they male or female. Mm -hmm. And early on, I didn't know that. I didn't understand that. And, and the thing, women know this almost inherently. They've removed sex off the table with, uh, with men that they are friends with. Well, I see, I think that the idea of monogamy, which if it's not your thing, that's fine, you know? There's nothing that says that open relationships or polyamory can't work if it's between you and a consenting partner or partners. The, the, but they have done studies. I mean, you you would talk to uh, Doctor Drew, and he would say, yes, m- morally there shouldn't be anything wrong with it. But when it comes to the res- to the results of a relationship, it's almost entirely disastrous it is a way to ruin a really great relationship between two people i think that most people aren't aware that they have to do that but it seems obvious to me at least that if you're well because you're a woman what does that have to do with it though in my clouded fucked up teenage boy mind that never occurred to me because i have I have the type of genitalia that allows me to go and just have sex with whatever. And you have to be way more selective about this because it it is the risk every time of getting pregnant and having to raise that child. So you have to 
uh, from an evolutionary standpoint, be way more selective than a guy can. Yeah, I mean, I guess that's true. A, a guy at a certain age just wants to stick his dick in everything. If, if I didn't absolutely love the idea of of us in the future, way down the line, having spent all this time together and looking forward to that, then there'd be something wrong in this relationship. That Then this relationship wouldn't last. But it is going to because... I am still, I know I'm still going to enjoy the time we spend together 30 years from now. Mm -hmm. And at that time, I'm going to be looking forward to spending time with you still 30 years after that. Right. Until one of us, until I die of a horrible yeah. cheese art heart attack and, <laughs> and you have another 60 years to live. Probably. Yeah, because I'm going to die of a heart attack at the age of 40. Yeah, we've already decided this. Yes. That's six years away, by the way. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't feel like it. He's old. So what the fuck does this have to do with Jennifer Lawrence? Yes, I was just wondering that exact same thing. I'm sure most of you have probably tuned out by now. <laughs> don't, don't you can't ever say that in radio. <laughs> you can't advise this people. This is the time you should tune out. Is, I'm not telling people to tune out. I'm saying I'm sure most of you have by now because we're not talking about Jennifer Lawrence. Yeah, but they like hearing about you know, the nitty gritty of our okay, relationship. Okay, but yes, now we need to talk about Jennifer Lawrence. Talking about Jennifer Lawrence brought this idea up in my head because uh, I wanted to elucidate to you in a way of why I like her, but but still um, qualify that in a way that is not at all threatening to our relationship. This is literally how a, a man's mind works. The impracticalness of the idea of me having sex or a relationship with Jennifer Lawrence is just so beyond possibility, but a guy's mind will still rationalize it. That's how dumb we are. That is pretty dumb. It is very fucking dumb. So when you realize... When you take that off the table beforehand, now you can start to think rationally about people. Now you can start to have interest in them other than the fact that they're hot. Which is which is the initial feeling that I would have if I was still thinking that way. Mm -hmm. Amy Schumer spent a, a weekend on a boat. They just hung out at a lake. Her and Amy Schumer. Like, that would be awesome. Uh, if it would be awesome to be on that boat with those two very funny people and get to share stories with them, make fun as shit together, that'd be great. Now, chances are, out of the two of us, I'd be the first one to be invited to something like that. Okay, sure, then I tag along. <laughs> Who says you're invited? Me. No one. Me. No one said that. Me. Nope. Me. <laughs> I want to go. God, he's so desperate. I'd, it'd be fun. <laughs> yeah, it would be. I'll send you pictures. Mm. <laughs> Whatever. There is a huge scar on our headboard. Have you seen this before? Look yeah, at this. I've seen that. Where? When did you... You notice that from the beginning? Mm-hmm. It's just this huge mark. Okay. Well, I'm glad to be in a long-term relationship. This is the longest relationship either one of us has ever had. 
continuously. Like I've been in an, I was in an on and off relationship for approximately three years. Yeah, but that was bullshit. It was bullshit because it was in high school. And any relationship anyone ever has in high school is complete and utter bullshit. Don't let them, don't let them tell you any differently. Like it can turn into a real long, stable relationship later. Of course it can. Of later, course it can. But while but it's in high school, it's bullshit. You're still teenagers, and what you feel yeah, is still bullshit. You don't know what the fuck love is. Yeah. Like, get over yourselves. Yeah, it, it's when you become adults. It's when you have to live together and pay bills together. It's when you have to think deal about deal with each other's yeah. problems. We, we're not even we're not even in that the really high stage of the relationship where we have kids yet. No, where where it'll survive that test and I mean, and it'll it'll be it'll be past that point where we're that deep into it that we have to think about that shit. We do have a cat and a dog. I know that doesn't really count, yeah. but occasionally they provide some level of stress. But other than that. No, we have no idea what it's like. Speaking to have of, Poe pooped in the corner. Yes, he did. Poe pooped in the corner of our bedroom. First time he's done that in a few months, so it's yeah. it, it's a it's a start. Um, but yeah, sometimes they can be stressful, yeah, but we so. love them anyway. Just like sometimes our lives can get stressful, but we love each other anyway. We're gross. Yeah, we are. Well, I don't know why any of this is in the podcast. This is all just stupid relationship stuff. Yeah. Can we talk about Jennifer Lawrence now? Can we talk about like... We we did. No, we didn't talk about like half the shit you have on here. It's not like... No, we... I brought you on as a guest to talk about the aspect of the relationship stuff, taking sex and a relationship off the table and how that's necessary it, it, because that's when I was talking about Jennifer Lawrence that's the really interesting concept that came out of it for me One Minute History with Cass and I on YouTube and the podcast can only be heard if you share this with friends post it and talk about it with others. To support One Minute History, you can visit OneMinuteHistory.com. That is one, the digit one, MinuteHistory.com. For everyone who has supported One Minute History, we thank you. Next week, we're going to be talking about whether Pope Francis is really Catholic. Thank you to my guest, Quinaria. For One Minute History, my name is Casanaya. Good night, and have a pleasant tomorrow.